Citra is a 3DS simulator early in development for Windows, Linux, and Mac operating systems. It runs a small amount of games at varying speeds but can run titles like Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D fairly well at playable frame rates. It also has some nifty features like resolution upscaling so users can play their favorite portable games in 1080p resolution with full clarity. If you want to test the emulator or play any 3DS games on it, you're going to have to have a 3DS backup. I'm going to show you, through the power of 3DS Homebrew, how to dump your 3DS cartridge or digitally downloaded game to a CXI file that can be used with Citra 3DS. This will be your own personal backup of the game. So without further ado, let's get our game dumped and playing. First, we need to remove your 3DS SD card and put it in the computer so that we can add a new homebrew application to it. Follow the link in the description to download Braindump. Open the braindump.7z file and drag the braindump folder into the 3DS folder on your SD card. The homebrew has been added and now we're ready to launch and back up your own 3DS games. Put your SD card back into your 3DS, boot it up, and get into Homebrew Launcher. From here, we need to find our newly added title, Brain Dump. Click on it now and we're going to cycle through a list of games and applications that are installed to the 3DS system. Find the game or cartridge you want to dump and then press A. Now Brain Dump is going to start reading the game and dumping it to its own independent file on the root of your SD card. This process takes varying amounts of time depending on just how big the game is. New Super Mario Bros. 2 will dump way faster than, say, Hyrule Warriors, which can take a couple hours. Once the process finishes, we need to shut down the 3DS and put the SD card back into the computer. On the root of the SD card, we should have a CXI file with a bunch of numbers before it. That is the game that we just dumped. Copy the CXI file onto your computer into a convenient place where Citra can find it or in a dedicated game backups folder that's entirely up to you. Citra can browse the computer for whatever games it needs, so wherever you place it will work. Boom, you're rocking! Now you can test out your game with Citra, however not a lot of the games are operational at the moment or even run fluently, so give this emulator time to progress and develop. I hope this helps some of you guys out. I made this video primarily in response to my Citra emulator video that blew up and many people started discussing piracy and assuming that because I was using an emulator that I had stolen the game to use it, which is entirely untruthful as I can easily back up my own games using my 3DS without having to go to any fishy websites to get some virus ROM. Anyways guys, please like it up, subscribe it up, I'll catch you all later. Peace!